And back here in Lagos, Christians, Muslims, rights activists, and other stakeholders have converged on Lagos to join the call that rapid and concrete steps be taken to save Nigeria from the hands of terrorist group Boko Haram. The stakeholders made their positions known at a symposium held in honor of slain abductees and the yet to be released girls still in burn of Boko Haram's captivity. The program was put together by Catalyst for Peace and Social Justice CPG in collaboration with the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights, CDHR, and Women Advocacy Research and Development Center. In an emotion-laden speech, the co-convener of the Bring Back Our Girls movement, Aisha Yesufu, expressed her displeasure at the way and manner the federal government is handling the issue of insurgency. She accused the Nigerian leaders of not caring enough for the plight of commoners as they would their kids, especially the girl child. Also, leader of the advocacy movement, Al Mumudondu, Charles Oputa, was emphatic in his demand for change from the status quo, calling on Nigerians to explore all legal avenues in their power to bring about the much desired change. Convener of the event, Abraham Ayedogmo, blamed religious leaders for allowing many endemic problems in Nigeria to linger by not speaking out. He, however, expressed hope that with initiatives like the symposium, a new dawn beckons for the country. Other speakers who accused government of only being responsive and not proactive called for an overhaul of Nigeria's security architecture, but reminded Nigerians of the role they can play to reverse the ugly trend. Too much. It was the civil society organization that took the struggle. It was the whole society group that told. You know, we remember great people like Ben Horace of Kuti. We remember that we were here. We remember all the heroes that made that their lives. And I had no time, Bishop Kuti said, if religious people have just come and mobilized to join these people, we will have taken the nation and lead her to our rightful destiny. The program rounded off with a walk of solidarity for Boko Haram victims. <laughs> 